Today we're going to be looking at the 2021 U.S. Open problem, United Cows of Farmer John. So in this question, the UCFJ are going to send a delegation of cows to the IOI. So out of the N cows that we can pick from, each of which with a breed type, we're basically going to have to pick a contiguous interval of cows, so that the first and the last cow have a unique breed type. And so we want to give the amount of ways that we can pick a delegation. So let's go look at the algorithm for this question. So what we're actually going to do for this question is we're going to loop through all of the items and we're just going to treat every cow as the cow ending the delegation. So what this means is if I'm iterating through and I'm currently on this value here, I'm going to count all of the number of delegations that are going to end with this cow. And so what we're actually going to do is we're going to notice something important. If the last occurring value with the same breed is here, then what's going to happen is we are not going to be able to make any more delegations starting from before this cow. And this is because there's already going to be a cow in between, meaning that this is not going to be valid, meaning the range won't be valid. And so what this means is that any range before the last occurring value are not going to be valid. So none of these ranges are going to be valid. And so the only valid ranges are going to be in between these two cows. And not only that, all of these values are going to be unique to this, which means none of them are going to have the same breed type to this because the last occurring breed type was here. And so what we're actually going to do is we're going to find this value, and we can do this really simply by having a dictionary or a map or a list. And so once we've found this value, all we have to do is we have to count the number of valid delegations starting from here and ending here. And so what we're actually going to do is we're going to notice that if I have multiple repeats, let's say we have a three here, a three here, and a three here. If I have multiple repeats here with the same breed type, then only one of them is going to be a valid delegation. And this is because this is valid. However, if I were to start here and end here, this is not valid because this is going to be matching this. And same thing with this won't be valid because we have these two here. And so for every breed type within this range here, there's only going to be one valid delegation. And so what this question turns into is given this range, we want to find the number of unique breeds in this range. And so once we found the number of unique breeds, we're just going to add that to the answer and move on. So we're just going to loop through all of the values, and for each one, we're going to find the number of unique breeds in between it and the last occurring value of the same breed type. And so what we could do is we could loop over all of these values, create a set, return the answer or the size of the set. However, that would be O n squared and too slow for this question. And so what we're going to do instead is we're going to use bit trees. And what we're going to do is with bit trees, we're just going to be able to take the query. So with bit trees, we have update and query. And we'll just be able to take the query of, let's say, this is i and this is j, of query i minus query j. And this value is just going to give us the number of unique breeds in here because bit trees is going to tell us the number of numbers within the range with a unique value. And so what we're going to do is we're just going to loop through, we're going to find the last remaining, we're going to take this range, we're going to take the query value, we're going to add it to the answer, move on to the next one, and do the same thing for every value. So let's look at this more in depth in the code. So I'm going to loop through here, and I'm going to read in. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to read in my input. And once I've read that in, I'm going to run my main program, which is going to be run bit. And so for run bit, what I'm going to do is I'm going to loop through all of the cows. And I'm just going to assume that cow i is going to be the last cow in my current delegation. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to find the last cow with my same breed, like I mentioned earlier. And then if that value is not negative 1, meaning if that value does exist, then I'm just going to actually subtract 1 from my bit trees. And the reason is because bit trees is going to run and it's supposed to run so that there's only one cow of every type. So in order to not overcount, 
if this has already appeared, then I'm actually just going to subtract one from my bit trees. That way, later on over here, I'm going to re empty and I'm going to re update it with one. And I'm also going to set my previous breed type, my breed to I, since we don't need it right now anymore. So I'm going to update my previous breed type and I'm going to update my bit. So for my bit trees, my update and query functions are pretty stereotypical. And so this should probably be learned already or online somewhere right now. And so once you've updated the bit trees, what you're going to do is we're going to basically check if i is greater than zero. And if i is greater than zero, meaning that we are not currently on the first element and we can actually calculate the number of delegations, we're just going to turn p1 into the maximum of zero and last cal. This is assuming because last cal might be negative one. And so what we're going to do is we're going to add query i minus query p1. And so this is just going to be the number of different distinct breeds possible for the delegation ending with cal i. And so once we've done this, we've pretty much finished up the program. And so down here, we're just going to output our answer. And that's the end of our program.